Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How you doing? You're fine. Oh, sweet. Nice to see you. My name is Nick Vujicic, and it's a pleasure to be with you. I have a drum machine up here, and uh, we're just going to... So what it is, basically, it's a, it's a pad, right? And there's like 16 buttons. And so each button represents a sound, right? So I'm not pressing play or anything like that, right? You see my foot? All right? It's like, like serious, okay? You like that? Well then... So that's sort of more like you're rocking, you know, sort of pop, whatever, but then you got the... The ah-ah. Uh, uh. Can we have some more volume, please? Give me some ah-ah uh, uh, juice, right? Alright, so here we go, right? So it's like... You like that? That would be really cool if I could get this on my wheelchair and play it while I'm driving. And get some techno going like, here we go. One, two, three, four! Yeah! There you go, you like that? Is that cool? Beautiful. But honestly, along the way, you might fall down like this. Ready? <laughs> Hello! Right. So what do you do when you fall down? Get back up. Everybody knows to get back up because if I start walking, I'm not going to get anywhere. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. You, so, you so, sort of put a mask on your face when you come to school and pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you, when you don't have to impress anybody, and you're yourself. And fear comes in. You know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house. Maybe there's a broken home. Maybe you have doubt in your life. Maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future, and it scares you. Maybe you're, about, maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you. Just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? Because I tell you, I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs. But this is the thing. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times... If I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. Does that make sense? And it's not the end until you've given up. And just the fact that you're here should persuade you that you have another chance to get back up. There's still hope. I'm not here today to tell you that I understand your pain. I don't know how it feels to be abused. I don't know how it feels to feel, quote, fat and you've got an eating disorder. I don't know how it feels to have a broken home. I don't know how it feels. But I know how it feels to have a broken heart. And I know how it feels to be alone. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you going to finish strong? And you will find that strength to get back up like this.